bring up on this joint, man. You know what? Let's bring the brother. We got Mike in the chat here. Mike, welcome to the stage. Hey. Welcome to Harley Initiated, my brother. Can you hear us? Loud and clear. Mike, check, Mike, check. Get, do me a favor, Mike. Give me your age, your location, and I want to hear your take on this. Uh, 29, uh, California. And Umar's not going to like me because I believe that you can date who you want to date. Just don't be a coon. And, you know, we regard Frederick Douglass with high esteem, and he married a white woman at the end of the day. So I look at a man's actions more so than who he dates. I want to clarify the Frederick Douglass piece. You're absolutely right. About a decade before his death as an old man, he married a white woman. But let's not forget about Queen Mother Anna Marie Douglas, who he was married to for nearly 50 years, who gave birth to all five of his children, who helped him escape from slavery to freedom, and who ran the Underground Railroad in Rochester, New York, during his absence. I'm only bringing that up because we talk about the white woman so much that a lot of our children don't know. Frederick Douglass had a dark skin. This motherfucker is deflecting like a bitch made nigga. I said, hey, Frederick Douglass, he married a white woman. Um, well, you, you see, he did marry a white woman, but we got to remember he married a black woman first and he was with a black woman and she was such a good black woman. And remember, he married a black woman first. What are you talking about? So it's cool to marry a white woman if we marry a black woman first and then leave her. What is he talking about? Deflecting in its finest. About a decade before his death as an old man, he married a white woman. But let's not forget about Queen Mother Anna Marie Douglas, who he was married to for nearly 50 years, who gave birth to all five of his children, who helped him escape from slavery to freedom, and who ran the Underground Railroad in Rochester, New York, during his absence. I'm only bringing that up because we talk about the white woman so much that a lot of our children don't know. Frederick Douglass had a dark-skinned, chocolate, beautiful, nappy-headed wife. So I want to make sure Anna Marie Douglas gets her due. Now, to your question, to your point that we can marry who we want and not be a coon. How is not building a family with a black woman? How can you be exempt from cooning? What did he just say? What did this man just say? Um, how can you be exempt from cooning if you're marrying a white woman? Third, did you just inadvertently call Frederick Douglass a coon? You're basically saying it's impossible to not be a coon and marry a white woman. Sir, Frederick Douglass married a white woman. So I got this man so pressed. I got him so bent out of shape. I was the only one to call in and challenge his rhetoric. And he's got, he's calling Frederick Douglass a coon right now. Y'all peep game. He said, how is it possible to marry a white woman and not be a coon? Mmm, Frederick is rolling in his grave. Your question, to your point that we can marry who we want and not be a coon. How is not building a family with a black woman? How can you be exempt from cooning if you do not build family with black women? So by your own rhetoric, it's okay if we marry a white woman as long as we marry a black woman first. No, you should not be marrying a white woman at all. If the salvation right. of the African people rests on the shoulders of the African family, do we not have an obligation to be with our own women? Interesting. And and I believe and that you exclusively the date sisters, sisters, right? Yes. And what about and I slid in there and I understand that you exclusively date sisters, right? Why is it so important for me to confirm whether or not he solely dates sisters? You'll see in just a moment, but I got his confirmation. Health argument. Women on average outlive their husbands. So when we transition, if we marry the snow bunny, is she going to use any of your wealth to empower the black community after you're gone? How are you not a sellout if you're giving white people that type of wealth? How are you not a sellout if you are giving white people that type of wealth, sir? So far in this conversation, you don't realize it because you're, you're a bit mentally challenged, but so far Mike TV got you so bent out of shape. You have called the honorable Frederick Douglass a coon and a sellout, and you don't even realize it. He don't even realize it, but right here in 4K, he's called Frederick Douglass a coon and a sellout. Mm -mm -mm. Make it make sense, y'all. This is wealth that we need to empower the black community and build institutions. How are you not a sellout if you're giving white people 
that type of wealth when they've already stolen enough from us? How could you find a white woman who could ever understand you as well as a sister? Yeah. Well, the only reason why I mentioned people's actions is because you yourself exclusively date black, yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, yeah. oh, like, oh, oh, why you do me yeah. like that? Oh, man, that why you wild. do me like oh, that, bro? Oh, man. Oh, Mike, we, 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 we was going oh, good until so Michael man. went a little left. Mike, come Mike on, man. Oh, man. Yeah, man. I thought the brother was a good brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, Come on, y'all. Body language speaks volumes. Your reaction to being called a scammer to your face speaks volumes. Let's peep game, y'all, and let's dissect what we just witnessed. As soon as I call this man a scammer, as soon as I reference it's been 12 years and still no school, this man immediately looks to the host. He immediately looks to the host, then starts nervous laughter as if to tell the host, hey, you got to drop him down right now. And then he starts rubbing his thigh in a very nervous manner, trying to, ha, 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 I thought you was a good brother, Mike. Ha, 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 I thought you was such a good brother. Mike, why you got to do me like that, Mike? Why you got to do me like that, Mike? You mean your bitch ass can gossip about who's dating who for hours on end? But as soon as somebody mentions you scamming with that school long con, oh, it's, Get him up and, oh, I thought you was a good brother. I, I thought you was a good brother, Mike. Why you do me like that, Mike? Why? Well, the only reason why I mention people's actions is because you yourself exclusively date black, yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, you oh, 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 why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Oh, man. Oh, Mike, we, we, man. We, 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 we was going oh, good until Michael went a little left. Mike, come on. Mike, man. Oh, man. Body language speaks volumes, peep game. Yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Oh, 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 like, oh, 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 why you do me like that? Oh, why you do me like that, bro? Oh, man. Yet you're one of the biggest scammers in our community. It's been 12 years. Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Oh, man. <laughs> Checkmate, motherfucker. Oh, uh, black men shouldn't date white women. Frederick Douglass married a white woman. Oh, well, yeah, but he married a black woman first. And, and you shouldn't marry a white woman because there's no way for you to not be a coon and not be a sellout. Damn, did you just call Frederick Douglass a coon and a sellout? Um, and, and, and Umar, you exclusively date black, right? Uh, well, the reason why I judge a man by his actions is because you exclusively date sisters and you're one of the biggest scamming Negroes in our community. And as soon as he hears a little bit of truth, oh, Lord, he gets to shucking and jiving, y'all. Body language speaks volumes. Look at his body language. It's Twelve years. Why you do me like that? Why you do me like that, bro? Oh, 